Now, if you need to add any kind of border to your images in Photoshop, there's a few easy ways to do it. Let me show you how. Hello friend, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and the first type of border that we'll create is enlarging the canvas size and then adding a color behind our image. This is most useful when you need to enlarge your photo with a border to fit a specific dimension or a print size. To do this, once your image is opened here in Photoshop, just go up to image and down here to canvas size. Now you have the width and height dimensions that if you are going to a print size, for example, it might be easier to set this to inches. And then that way you can just type in the desired inches for your print size. However, I'm just gonna stick in pixels for this example. Now I want to add a 300 pixel wide border around the entire photo. So that means I'll add 300 pixels to my width and height dimensions. Now for the anchor point, we wanna make sure this is set to the middle and that way our canvas will extend equally around the entire photo. Now with these settings currently, our photo is going to expand and have a bunch of transparent area around the edges. So we can fill this in with a color by going to the canvas extension color and then choosing either the foreground color, which is the foreground color here, the background color, which is your active background color, white, gray, black, or you can click other and then choose a specific color for your photo. So let's say I want a nice blue or you can even click somewhere in your photo to sample a specific color. So let's do this almost white color here of the snow. Click OK. Now with all that good to go, I'll click OK like so. And now my image has had a border added to it. My canvas has extended outwards by the amount of pixels that I changed my width and height dimensions by. And now my border has been created. Now again, this is most useful when you need to resize your photo with a border to a specific dimension or print size. However, it is a little bit limiting in terms of customization if you want to add patterns, gradients, or even custom brush adjustments to your borders. Now, if you need to do any of those things, that's what we're gonna talk about next instead. So undoing that, we're now back to our original photo. And this time we're going to add a border without extending the canvas. And we can do that using layer styles. So unlocking my image layer, I'll double click on it and go to the stroke effect. Now make sure that the position of your stroke is set to inside. So that way the outline or the border will extend inwards onto your photo. This might crop things around the edges, but you can just change the size of this border depending on the look that you're going for. So let's go for a nice wide border like this, for example. Now currently you can see that my border is a solid color and I can change it by clicking on the color picker here and then going and finding a new color for my border, whatever that might be. Now if you wanted to go and add a gradient border, you could do so by changing the fill type here, going to gradient, and then choosing your desired gradient preset or creating a custom gradient within the gradient slider here. If you're unfamiliar with how the gradient editor works, make sure to check out this video right here to learn about that more in depth. Anyways, I'll just click OK for this example. From there, you can change the style of your gradient to get a few different looks. And then you can also change the angle to change where the colors are coming from in relation to your photo. Now, the third option that you have is to add a pattern to the image. Once again, change the fill type from gradient. I'll go to pattern. And let's say I want to send a nice Christmas postcard to my mom saying I'm on a good ski trip here or something like that. So I'll click on my pattern and I'll go to my Christmas patterns since it's December 2nd at this point when I'm recording this video. And let's go add a nice candy cane border like this. By the way, if you want to get these Christmas patterns, I have them available over on my website. I'll leave a link for them down below. But regardless of which pattern you choose, you can change the angle of it here as well as the scale to change how that pattern appears around your border. Once you're happy with your adjustments, you can just click OK. So you might think that we've covered almost all the ways to customize your border, but there's one extra thing that we can do to make things look a little bit more unique. And that's by adding custom brush adjustments to our border to give you an effect that you wouldn't be able to get in any other way. This will work best when you have a solid color gradient. So I'll set my fill type back to solid color and I'll pick a new color for my border. Click OK. I'll then increase the size just a little bit to make room for my brush adjustments. I'll click OK. Now what we need to do is create a selection of our photo so that will only affect the border when we go and paint with our brushes. The easiest way to do that is grabbing the marquee tool by pressing M, making sure our feather is set to zero, and then we'll just click on one corner of the image drag out to the other corner of the image like so, and now we have selected the entire photo. With that active selection, we'll press Command or Control Shift and I to invert that selection, and now we have the entire border of the photo selected. With that selection active, I'll create a new layer above my image, and then I'll select my brush tool by pressing B, and then choose a desired brush. In this case, I'll use my watercolor brushes, which are actually free from Adobe. I'll add a link for those down below as well if you wanna check them out. So let's just say I want this brush here, and I want my brush color to be like a black. 
click OK. Still with that active selection and my new layer selected, I can begin to go and paint over my border like so. And as you can see, all those brush adjustments only apply to my border and nothing else because we have that active selection. It basically just helps you to color within the lines without having to do any work. Once you're happy with your adjustments, you can press Command or Control D to deselect. And now you have that nice custom border effect using your brushes of choice. This works with any brush that you wanna use so you can get creative with your borders as you need. Now in this tutorial, you learned how to add a border around the entire photo, but what if you need to outline a specific thing Thing in your image, such as a person. Well, in that case, you need to follow some slightly different steps, which I share how to do over in this video right here. And that will give you everything you need to know to outline just about anything in any photo. Anyways, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.